For today's MFD security tip, let's talk about why and how you should verify an SFTP client key's fingerprint before using the key to authenticate a user or client application. The purpose of an SFTP client key is to enable your server to authenticate the owner of that key in lieu of a username and password combination. However, before a client key can be used for this purpose, you, as the server admin, should verify first the source of that key. You want to be sure that key, in fact, came from the expected owner, which would normally be a member of your organization, a customer, or a trading partner. If the one who sent that key is an imposter and you end up using the wrong key, that imposter could end up gaining unauthorized access to your server. One way to verify the source of the key is by comparing the fingerprint of your copy of the key with the fingerprint of the key that's in possession of whoever you believe this key should belong to. To do that, just import the key in question, view the details of the key, and check its fingerprint. Jscape MFT Server will display two versions of the fingerprint. The first one is based on ASN.1 public key encoding, while the second one is based on OpenSSH MD5 hash. For this example, we'll use the second one. Once you got the fingerprint on hand, you can then contact the person who you expect owns the key, ask if that person in fact sent the key, and then have him or her dictate the key's fingerprint. That person can view the fingerprint of their key by going to the terminal and running the command shown on the screen. If the keys match, you can then use that key for future authentication procedures. That's it. See you again next time for another MFT security tip.